Hey folks, so today I'm going to talk about Aranand, no, Adaranand Finn's The Way of the Runner. Uh, this is a book about Japanese running culture. He takes a trip to Japan to see what it's all about. Why do you go there? Because Japan consistently produces world-class runners at a rate uh, higher than anybody else besides Ethiopia and Kenya. Can't beat them. Um, but the thing is, like, they have such a large numbers of people who can run these, like, race distances, like marathon, half marathon, at, like, world-class paces. Um, even though they don't win, like, national medals, they have their own internal structure for their own races that supports that kind of culture. It's like this huge culture based around these, um, running teams that are sponsored by companies that pay their teams a living, they pay their teams a living wage. Um, so there's like hundreds of people who get to run for a living, basically, and they run these long relay races that are very team-based. Um, and like in America, very few people get to actually run for a living. So that's a big difference. Like they are being paid to run and in America, we don't, we don't get paid to run. Um, we do it by ourselves, um, and that's like a very big difference. Um, but it's so ingrained in the culture, this this running culture, like these races. There's a um, everybody seems to have the first, second, and third of the year off, and there's these races every year on those days. The first one is the professional race that the the corporations sponsor the people, and they're like adults. The second two days, though, is like one extra long relay race for college students. And it is the biggest race of the year is the college event. And it's there's so much pressure on the athletes, they end up burning out in their mid-20s from these two races. Um, it's just s pressure from the social um, system. I mean, the system creates all these runners, but it also burns them out really quick. Because there's so much pressure on like high school students and college students to perform to win these races. Um, and just by the time they get to the professional levels, a lot of them don't even want to do it anymore because they're just so tired of training so much. And that's that's the huge difference um, between like Japan and America. Like we have like almost no social support, like a, like like official social support you know it's all just kind of loosely based community things like people supporting each other like at the races or you know in like family in your community but it's not like there's any money behind it there's not like a huge following like more people watch those races than people watch the super bowl here it's intense um so yeah like for us though it's like it's an individual thing it's like a it's a testament to our own self-discipline. You know, we get up, we say, I'm going to go for a run. You know, it's something that you want to do for yourself. You decide how far you want to run. You decide how much you're going to run. You decide how often. You decide um, how fast. You decide what you're going to eat. You decide um, how you're going to cool down. You know, if you want to run three times a week, that's great. If you want to run once, six times, seven, eight, you can run like 14, 15 times a week if you want. You know, that's all on you. You know, you don't have a coach telling you. You don't have any expectations. There's no money on the line. You're not being paid a wage. It's all based on your self-determination. And that's, like, a big difference in the cultures. It's like you have this very team-based, structural kind of culture based around running, and you have this very individualistic, just, like, kind of self-motivated, like, um, I'm going to feel good about myself for doing this kind of because it's all coming from me. It's coming from within me. This is all my motivation in it. And that's like, I feel it's something you can be proud about. It's like de developing that self-motivation is like a point of pride in a lot of American runners saying like, oh, look at what I've accomplished. It's something I do for myself. You don't do it because there's a team depending on you. You don't do it because there's a company depending on you. You do it because you love to do it. That's the thing. You love to run and you decide that's the way I want to spend my time and my my life. That's what makes me feel good and that's what you do. Um, uh, what's his name? George, not George, George Sheehan, I think. There's a, a writer who wrote a book and it's very personally sentimental, passionate based. Um, what's it? It's like the, not the way of the runner. It's like um, running and being. That's it. Um, yeah, it's a... Uh, 
kind of sums up uh, like the the opposite philosophy. Um, so yeah, if you've got your own philosophies on running, your own experiences running for a team, or just your own individual motivation, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks, guys.